PTV Rosalind Lester. I'm Hector Galliano. I'm Aiden Wayne. I'm PTV's Charlie Harder. I'm Eo Gifford. Welcome back to PTV APHS. Today is April 15th, 2021. I'm PTV's Tyler Ritchie. Marshall County likely is finished with mask orders after Indiana lifted the state's mask mandate last week. At this point, Marshall County is one of the few Michigan counties that decided to get rid of the mask mandate. And that made us wonder what you have to say about that news. So PTV's Aiden Lynn hit the halls to find out. My name is Hogan Reed. I'm a freshman and my opinion on the masks, I don't like them. I barely wear mine on myself, so it don't really affect me. And I'm glad they lifted the mask mandate because I don't have to wear it out of school anymore. Uh, my name is Armando Sosa. I'm a senior. And about the masks, I don't really care. I'll probably keep using it even after COVID is done. Because I think it's a good thing because we can prevent other people from getting sick. My name is Brandon Manis. I am a senior. And my opinion on the mask mandate, um, I don't like masks at all, but it does help protect people from getting sick. Well, I still wear the mask just because, but I don't really care, so it's fine with me. Um, my name is Tony Howard. I'm a freshman. And what I think about the mask is, to be honest, I don't really care, and I'm glad that we don't have masks outside, but um, there still is a small chance that we could get COVID, so it's a good thing that we have masks. We just want to reiterate, you still have the mask up in all Indiana State buildings and facilities, along with vaccination and COVID testing sites, and one inside of a school. Last month, we told you about a mass COVID vaccine clinic that PCSD held at Plymouth High School for staff members. The second clinic was supposed to be held today, but it has been bumped to Friday. Again, the second COVID vaccine clinic for PCSD staff is scheduled for Friday, April 16th, beginning at 2.15 p.m. Everyone who is planning to get their second dose of Moderna is asked to arrive as soon as you can. The Marshall County Health Department staff will stay as long as there are people coming in to receive their dose. It is anticipated the clinic could last up until about 3.30. The location is the same as the first round, the PHS multi-purpose room. Park in the lot between the football field and the gym and enter through door 6. See the staff email from Superintendent Andy Hartley that he sent out on Monday for more important information. Now shifting gears to BTV Sports. Last Thursday, Plymouth High School announced an update when it comes to wearing masks outside at PHS Spring Sporting Events. Fans attending a PHS sporting event held outside the building will be asked to mask up when entering the outdoor facility, along with when they move around and when they exit the outside facility as well. However, fans may take the mask down once they assume their seat and as they continue to be seated. The PHS outdoor mask policy is a combination of the state's K-12 policy and the PHS policy as well. Anyone with questions can contact PHS principal Jim Condon. Spring sports are officially underway after last year's hiatus caused by the pandemic. This past weekend, we were able to capture some video of the Plymouth High School spring athletes in action. On Friday, the Lady Pilgrims hosted the John Glenn Falcons at the Mary Beth Tennis Complex at the Centennial Park. Miranda Garman and Almy Vernix were the only two returning varsity members from two seasons ago, scoring significant wins for the team. Taylor Dope and Ellie Jones both saw triumph in doubles after securing a win for the Pilgrims as well. The Lady Pilgrims earned their first team victory against the Falcons and will be traveling to Chesterton High School to match up with the Trojans. Sheer dominance was asserted this past weekend at Bill Nixon Field. The Pilgrims avenged their loss against the South Bend St. Joseph Indians with a home victory against the South Central Satellites. Matthew Dobuck and Skylar Aker both share the pitcher's mound, keeping the Satellites at a slim two runs to home base, while the Pilgrims totaled 16 runs. Later this evening, the Pilgrims are hosting a game against the Triton Trojans. To top it all off, our boys and girls track team kicked off a fresh start to their season at Colorado Academies for their annual relays. The girls faced off against five other schools in steady rainfall and secured second place as a team, falling short to sectional rival Colorado Academies. The girls shuttle hurdle relay team took first place overall, consisting of Amber Schremeyer, Riley Names, Rachel Kaler, and Almy Reese. Individual first place medalists were Almy Reese in the 300 meter hurdles, Sydney Rice in shot put and discus, along with Rachel Kaler in pole vault. The boys squad totaled 99 points and finished third as a team. The four by mile relay of Brian Vesco, Kobe Walters, James Babelbiss, and Max Howard took first place for this event. First place medalists for the boys team were Jarrett Brown in the 300 meter hurdles, 
David Shuddock in the 1500 meter in high jump, and Owen Bachman in shot put. The boys track team are hosting senior night today at 5.30 p.m. against the rivals Wawasee and Concord. It's awesome. It's good to uh, have the seniors out. I'm so happy we're able to have a track season this year. Uh, it was a big bummer last year for especially the seniors that they weren't uh, able to have that season. So definitely nice for us to be out. In other news, if you are planning or would like to participate in a summer program or camp and you would like financial assistance to offset your costs, the guidance department would like to hear from you. Each year, funds are available for this cause through the Ogden Scholarship, but are only rewarded to students who actually tell a school counselor about their need. Contact Mrs. Amy Porteous for further information ASAP. The deadline to apply for assistance is the last day of this month. You may have noticed an extra student in some of your classes last Thursday observing and helping your teachers with their lessons in some capacity. The students are part of the FTA. That stands for Future Teachers of America. All 42 Plymouth High School FDA club members shadow teachers within the PCSE School Corporation. More than three dozen students spent the day at PHS, Lincoln, Riverside, Menominee, WDA, or at Jefferson. FDA students were able to participate in teacher activities with their paired up teacher. The full day field trip lets students see what a teacher does throughout their seven and a half hour day of teaching. The day is a good example for students to see what they would be doing if they earned a college degree in education. Due to the pandemic, this year, the FDA club meets virtually. Michael Wright's construction classes have been busy for the past couple of weeks constructing sheds. We stopped by to get a peek at all the work in progress. Wright's class is made up of close to two dozen students. They are installing windows on one shed, and right now, students are starting to install trim on another. Mr. Wright says he loves teaching students tricks of the trade. The shed construction project incorporates dozens of hands-on lessons, including how to use a drill press, how to find an angle, and how to cut on a meter saw. Rate says sheds are very well constructed. The plans are to sell the sheds, and proceeds will go towards fun projects for next year. Stress Awareness Month has been recognized every April since 1992, but this year, it seems particularly important. Medical experts say learning to cope with stress and finding healthy ways to deal with these situations can go a long way in living a healthy and positive life. When you are feeling the pressure of school or work, it is imperative you find an outlet to help you manage stress. Tips to help you cope are to take care of yourself, eat healthy, exercise regularly, get plenty of sleep, and give yourself a timeout break if you feel like you're ready to snap. Discuss the situations that are causing your stress with a parent, friend, or another trusted source here at school. It is important to recognize when you need more help. PHS employees, a full-time psychologist, a social worker, and a team of counselors that are here to help you if and when you're ready to talk. That's a wrap for this week's PTV show. I'm PTV's Tyler Ritchie. As always, thank you for watching and supporting PTV. Have a great rest of your day, PHS.